Okay, here I have a coin textured in Substance Painter. So let's now export these textures to Unreal Engine. Go to File, Export Textures. In Output Template, select Unreal Engine, Packed. Choose your folder and select your texture resolution and export. Okay, let's now go to Unreal Engine. Let's create a folder, rename it to Substance, open it, now create a new material, change the name to MAS Material Substance underscore base. Let's create a new folder, change the name to Texture 1. Open it, right click, import, and select the occlusion, normal, and base color. Let's open the base color. Let's check that the texture is correct. sRGB, close, open the normal. It's a normal map. Is RGB unchecked, close, and then occlusion, roughness, metallic. Let's uncheck sRGB. The only RGB map is the base color, so this one doesn't need it. Close. Now let's go back to our material, open it, and drag your textures to the window. Now connect the base color to the base color, the normal to the normal. And the final one, red channel goes to ambient occlusion, the green channel goes to roughness, and the blue channel goes to metallic. Let's save and close. Go to the material and drag onto your mesh. Okay. That's it. But what if I want to try another texture set? Well, we need to create an instance material like in our previous video. So let's open our material. Go to the base color. Right click. Convert to parameter. Change the name to base color. Let's do the same with the normal map. Change the name to normal. Now with the occlusion map, convert to parameter. Change the name to ORM, meaning occlusion roughness metallic. Save and close. Now right click on our base material. Create material instance. I will change the name to yellow. Now drag into your mesh, open it, enable the textures, and close. Okay, let's now create another instance for another texture set. So create material instance, and I will rename it to a steel. Create a new folder, texture 2 and open it. Right click, import, and import a new texture set. Repeat the same process as before. Now go to the material instance, open it, enable all the textures, Go to your new textures and drag one by one to each slot. Save and close. Now go to the material and drag onto your mesh. And that's it. You can have as many instances as you want for different texture sets. 
Okay, so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.